Hey guys, you work repairs and welcome back to my Liverpool career mode where last time I left off I played games against inst 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 Dortmund and Sunderland. Now in this episode it will be a bit longer because I have three matches I want to get out. There's a you know, cup game against Newcastle as you guys can see it. I'm just about to go into its uh, calling cup match. Uh, I also have a league. Um, I, have a, I think I have two more league games then. Actually, one might be. I don't know. We'll see. But there's going to be three matches in this. So in the next episode, and I know, you know, we're talking about the next, next, the next episode, but in the episode following this one, we'll have matches against Atletico Madrid and Manchester United. Two big boys. Is is all I have to do is beat Madrid, and I should. Be safely true to the knockouts. I should be guaranteed my spot in the next in the knockout stage of the Champions League. And of course, I have my feigned my prize possession in, in all Liverpool career modes. Is I've never ever lost a match to Manchester United as Liverpool manager. And, and this, quite honestly. This one coming up could be one of the last times I ever play my eye in this FIFA because I don't know if they'll even be on our season after this one with FIFA 16 only around the corner. Or we'll just have to wait and see, but hopefully I'll get one more season in. I don't know if I will, but if not, it'll be definitely the it'll be definitely one of the last FIFA 15 games against Manchester United. Of course, I'll have the second match against them later in the season. But, and, and you know, there's no, it's not like I can say for sure I won't be playing them in the Cups, you know. I, I don't know if they're still in the Carlin Cup. Uh, of course, I could face them in the FA Cup regardless because neither of us have played in that yet. But whether they're still in the this cup, the Carlin Cup, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I th they are. I think they are. It should be. Man, yeah, I can't. They should be. Right? I guess we'll see. Anyway, and you're probably wondering to yourself, why is this up on Thursday? It's because, um,. I've been uploading uh, Metal Gear Solid 1, and while I am going to finish the game, I'm going to wait uh, for a while until I see if... Well, I'm I'm going to wait and see if the copyright uh, strikes on the videos are going to be removed. Uh, they should. They should be. I mean, they, they're removed from my... Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 videos was not too much uh, with actually no problem whatsoever. It was only the last of us his last episode it, no pun intended that uh that uh caused me problems. And I couldn't get the uh strike removed I'll just have which is uh one of the main reasons I'm replaying that game. Yeah. At some point, of course, I want to replay it, especially with the news that two is going to be coming. So uh, I definitely want to re-familiarize with uh, the characters that are Joel and uh, and Ellie. So, uh, so it'll be and plus, it has a lot of replay value. You know, it's such a good game. Mm -hmm. 
I'd, uh, I'd play 50 hundred times and it could, it still wouldn't lose its, uh, its playability. Because it's just, you know, everything about The Last of Us is so good, that's why it's getting a sequel. You know, we all knew it would. It is just a question of how long would we have to wait? And as it turns out, you know, we 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 were uh, we were patient, and we're gonna get what we want. You know. Night dog. Okay, they they are like okay. You know, we we hear you guys. You know, it, it's. Fair enough. Don't you want a sequel to the last one? Here you go. You know, it's confirmed. Confirmed by someone from who's actually in the game, so <laughs> you know it's confirmed. So yeah, that should be fun. I'm playing as a uh, Joel and Ellie again. And uh, I'm coming. I'm going to be making a what I want to see in The Last of Us 2. What I think should be in The Last of Us 2. And uh, it'll be it'll be quite a little fun discussion video. And we'll see. Uh, we'll see if they take any suggestions on board. Of course, with the game being confirmed, they're obviously starting to work on it. So if I get my ideas out there, maybe they'll see them, who knows, you know? Maybe they'll do something EA have always done, according to them anyway, and that's listening to the fans, you know? They give the fans what they want, that's why we have, you know, such great career mode. That's why price ranges were removed, you know, actually. You know, when you go into Ultimate Team, you see a player or, uh, being... With price ranges on them, that that's that's a glitch. Don't worry about that. You know, go ahead, go on to old team as soon as your video or pause the video, but if you like, go on to ultimate team and see. He he does his price ranges are venerable. Oh wait, no wait, I'm I'm sorry. They didn't remove price ranges because they're a horrible company. He, but it's Baron Bass. <laughs> No amount of money in the world could get the FIFA population to play pets. Oh my gosh. We're getting nowhere fast with these guys. So let's bring on uh, Atkins. Um, Ah, oh, come on, you cannot be serious. Pickens. Eric, yes. Instant impact from the substitution, and that's what I'm talking about. That's what you want from a sub. Henry is with his second goal in the Carlin Cup, and the goal up has put me ahead of Newcastle. Uh, whose uh, defense has been quite stubborn. 
and so far this match, but finally I've broken the vow. Akens, oh, oh, Pereira, Akens sets up a second goal off the bench, and, and it's 2-0. Oh, and that has to be it, right? So Akins is shot, spilled terribly by the keeper. And, and the young... Hmm. And Spanish man gets his third goal in the Colin Cup and secures my progression to the next round because 2 0 with 10 minutes to go. I'm gonna go out on a wild limb and say I should be able to hold on. I mean, if I, if I can't defend a 2 0 lead with 10 minutes to go. So. Then I shouldn't be for anymore. And wait, I can maybe set up a third. Ooh, Ayala. Not quite there. Alright, though. Against! Oh, he has to have a third goal! It's not real this time! These aren't going to be counted as assists, but they should. Because technically, he Atkins has set up all three goals off the bench. Twice he's caused the keeper to make a horrific expels. And Stefano Funaglio will, will get his first goal in the Capital One Cup. Well, I think it's safe to say this is definitely game over. I don't know. I don't think Axton is going to get the man of the match. He should. Because he's been involved in all the goals. Well, since coming on. The most impact contribution I've ever made. And, uh, Newcastle will uh, will testify to that. And there is the whole time whistle. Lovely. He did. Again, 8.6. Look at that. Uh, United, United. Oh, they're not there. Um. Hmm. Well, they. Should be, but they're not. Oh wait, what? Man, yeah, what the hell? doing here. Everything's been pretty freaking um all the matches have been rearranged.
Oh, wait a minute. I'm thinking of... Uh, did I say Atletico Madrid? I meant to say... He may have an Arsenal. Yeah. Hmm. Whoops. I'm after getting confused with uh with my sporting career mode. Happens on occasions, but anyway. Doesn't matter. Guess the United game happens now. His, uh, uh, his opinion on something. Can I ask you guys, is there an opposition who, who you've never lost to in Korea? If so, please comment what team you're on with and just say and if it's multiple teams or you're just unbeaten against them in general, just say Please stop me like that. But if it's a certain team, please comment which certain team you are unbeaten with and who you have never lost to. Because this, where you guys believe it or not, I am undefeated against man. I have never ever lost against them as a as a, as a Liverpool manager. Never in any FIFA. Um, yeah. Long may that continue. And, uh, may I fans believe me, it will continue in FIFA 16. I don't give a shit who they bring in. They can bring in Swineswagger. Go ahead. Bring in Damien. I've no idea who he is. It's not gonna matter because in the next FIFA I'll have an even better team than I already have. than I have. I always find ways of improving. And United you can improve. you guys can improve all you want, but the undefeated streak will, will live as long as I play FIFA career mode. They hit. It will be better than the Undertaker streak. You got WrestleMania. I dare say, playing Man United just to increase the undefeated streak against them is one of the best parts of the whole season in any of the seasons when I play Karama. And any time I get to play man this is other clubs, I always try my my best. I have lost to United as another club. Um I forget who it was. Um Who was it? I think it was like oh it was Benfica. I think it was Benfica. Yeah, it was Benfica. So uh no offense Benfica fans, but I'll see. You didn't have what I needed. Ooh! Roy almost scored! I almost scored a free kick! <laughs> that was really close. I 
I guess we should get used to seeing, uh, get used to seeing De Gea in a United goalkeeper jersey while we can, because come the start of the new season, it's pretty much guaranteed he's going to be at Real Madrid. Because, but Casillas gone to Porto? By the way, he fuck you, Real Madrid. Did you just made my FIFA 16 in life a lot harder before it even began. Assholes. He couldn't sell Focusius to a club that's not in freaking FIFA. Or in that league that I wouldn't do. Well, not wouldn't do, just wasn't gonna do. I mean, why did it have to be Porto? Why? And for that matter, if Casillas was for sale, why didn't Liverpool buy him? You had one job, Brendan Rodgers. Really? And you couldn't do it. You could, couldn't do it. You stupid mother... He wants to be fired. I don't understand. I don't understand. He, he doesn't want the job. I want it. I, I think there's we can come to some sort of agreement where I take over and Brendan Rodgers gets a horrible, horrible shame firing. I mean, obviously he doesn't want the job because otherwise he'd be out signing goalkeepers like Casillas is which we need. Because Mignolet isn't good enough. And he'll never be good enough. We already messed up trying to sign Czech. He went to Arsenal. Now we've missed Casillas. This. Oh. Three goalkeepers we were linked with heavily you know, over the last couple of months, and only one is still a possibility. With Czech of go going to Arsenal and and Casillas gone to Porto, that only leaves one option of the goalkeepers we were linked with, and that's. Vinefeller. So, does Brendan Rodgers want to sign Vinefeller, or are we going to have to wait until old Jurgen Klopp takes over and we get him in January? Because, uh, without a decent goalkeeper, Brendan Rodgers will be he, he looking for a new job. the second half. All I have to do now is seal the win. 2-0 up thanks to goals from McCarty and Hazard. Let's get a third goal. Let's seal this. Another win against Manchester. Ah, I thought the hair might drop it. Hit. Pressure wasn't strong enough. Got a Goros. Where's the gutte? And the streak goes rolling on. 
because it's 3-0 and it is game over. Lawless victory. <laughs> Don't worry, you know, it turns always next time. <laughs> Not because they're so bad against me. Oh, I enjoy watching them suffer. Oh. <laughs> oh, Raphael, you poor bastard. You poor, poor, poor bastard. He, he tried to keep it out. You gotta give him credit for trying. You know, they say God loves a try, but oh, Z FIFA doesn't. <laughs> That's how FIFA rewards. It's attempted. Goal line clearances. <laughs> ah. Ah. Hummels with his third goal in the, the league. Whew. Take a drink and relax. Maria. Oh wow, it took a deflection. Still was a really bad shot. <laughs> the more they show it, the funnier it gets. I thought I was getting yellow there, or I really did. I know when they signed Blinn, they said he could play at left back, but I didn't actually believe he could. Uh, so yes, he can, because that's where he is. Unless he's just playing on the left side of the midfield, and he's really defensive. Now I know he's a defensive mid, but even, he looks even def he looks too defensive, even for a defensive mid. Like, he's playing on the back four. I mean, look, he's in the left back position.
That's a day, I see. He then pawns it out. Good cat by the cat. It was a good attempt, but not good enough. <laughs> well, now Marco Royce looks like he got a match rate eight point nine. Good work, Marco. So, all after in the next episode to progress in the. Champions League is beat Spartak Moscow and I will be, be pretty much guaranteed my spot in the next stage of the Champions League. Can I do it? Will I do it? The questions, the answers, is, is next time. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.